Lou, in that case, isn't that really a matter of political compromise? Isn't it possible to go ahead and get the bill passed this year with whatever flaws there might be and then go back next year and make changes? If you want to talk about realistic, legitimate, I mean, uh, in our society, a political compromise, fine. But now who's selling who down a river? Who's saying these people are going to have to stay here? And you know who it's going to be? It's going to be the oldest people who are going to have to stay there, live out their lives there. They're never going to get to smell the roses and see the sunset. It's going to be with the people with the most physical disabilities. You know that. They're always left to last. And the people with autism. So now, in the process of, now you're switching, you're switching titles on me now. We're talking about what I believe is good for people, and now you're talking about political compromise. To me, the people who are, are making a political compromise, however appropriate, real, justifiable, what have you, are, are uh, the ones to me that are selling these people down the river, are denying them the right to live in the community. The second point, now let's, I mean, let's get it all out. No one says it's better for these people to live in the community, and better, better for these people to be on the institution more. That's not what people are saying. They're saying we have a union who is uh, active politically and gives money to the governor's campaign and the legislator's campaign, and we want to save jobs. So we want to keep these people here to, to, to have our, so we can have our jobs. We're talking about people who, in the local, the local economy of the little town, in, in the rural areas where they put these places, uh, gee, these people have, if you take, close that institution, it's like closing a military base. We may not need the military base, but try closing it, you see? Now, there, there are differences, though. See? So what would, see me, I think you should go ahead, if you want to spend the money, give the, give the money to the people in the town and let the politicians be happy and let the people who sell food to the institution be happy and clothing, I mean, go ahead, but get the people out, you see? Because what's happening in the process of the, the political compromises and the, is that, yeah, these people need jobs in little towns. I understand that. And legislators have, have uh, uh, commitments to their constituents. I understand that. But look at the treatment that people are getting in the process. So if you take that out, fine. Go ahead.